Hello my loves, I'm Ellie Frost and we are talking about narcissistic abuse, healing from it, getting rid of PTSD, not managing it and probably getting rid of the demons in our life. <laughs> I hope I can say that. <laughs> but um, I want to clear this up, right? Because I, I have explained that, so what happens on a spiritual level? Why someone is a narcissist? What is going on with the soul? Why do they lack empathy? And that is about, they have detached from their soul, which means that they have but they've consciously, spiritually said yes to the entity that is kind of, con it's not controlling them. It's not like the demon is controlling them. They made a spiritual choice to go dark, right? And they are fully aware of what they're doing. So when I say it's being run by an entity, an entity is a thought entity, right? Now, love could be seen as an entity. It's a collection of consciousness. You can tap into love consciousness. You can tap into narcissism, right? Well, you probably can't, but like you, d you need to be so detached to really get into that consciousness everything's consciousness and consciousness is like a collection of ideas and when you're tapped into a certain consciousness you basically sync up to the information on that level of consciousness every thought that was ever thought kind of becomes available to you in your awareness if that makes sense in quantum physics so make no mistake i want to make this abundantly clear because we have made enough excuses on this planet i did it for years it almost cost me my life twice making excuses like this right the fact is in the psychology world we're hearing all this stuff about i hope i can say it. again i'm worried that like, i want to keep the channel fine i don't know if i could how free i can be in what i say but i'm just going to give it all to you and hopefully it's okay so it's not what i'm worried about saying to you i'm worried about what I can say publicly, you know, <laughs> but I'm not really wanting to hold back because it doesn't work. And I am here to tell the absolute truth. The problem with the psychology world is that we're, di we're treating it as a personality disorder where it's way beyond that. We're getting caught up in absolute gaslighting of technical terms. And what flavor of a narcissist is this where there's such a common denominator like it does matter in terms of being able to know what you're dealing with. But getting caught up in excusing this is a massive issue that keeps most of us going back most of us in chains and some of us will lose our lives over it right a lot of people lose their lives if not physically emotionally spiritually and their purpose on the planet so it's really important to know that they make a choice if he's cheating on you he knows if he's causing you pain he knows if he's sick or she if they've seen you cry they know if they know you've got no money and you're in despair they know they know consciously as a whatever's left of them in terms of human they know what they're doing make no mistakes about this just because that there were t like if i was tapped into love love would be controlling me right but i'm choosing love if i'm being controlled by the entity they have enough free will they have free will you must know this every time they hurt you they know they see your pain every time they see you in distress they know they see your pain every time you've lost your mind in despair and lost it fallen apart reacted fought back done something that took you so out of yourself and your soul they know they meant it they did it on purpose right now, do we, can we show unconditional love for the planet? Yes. The most unconditionally loving thing you can do to humanity is not fuel these entities and actually come back to your heart and soul. Be the light. Shine so brightly that every narcissist needs to get sunglasses because we are shining so bright in our power, in our love. We can channel love on this planet in such a strong way. But this is not the time for you to decide that they are completely non the the narcissist is unaccountable and gets away with this and we're allowing it and it's about time we make them accountable not by fighting back not by doing destructive things by choosing our hearts choosing our love radiating it out love fiercely the people who are, wor are worth loving because they will do something great for this planet collectively whether that is just being a beautiful member of community or going out and doing something that changes people's lives whatever you can do not to be drained of your most important asset which is your heart and the things that you could bring to people that would actually thrive with your love poured on them that's what we're here to do make no mistake that they know what they're doing you know they've seen you hurt you know they've cut your resources you know they know you went through certain things and they didn't care they know it's not some entity 
the entity is a consciousness. Love is a consciousness. They choose. They see. They think they're better than you. They're superior. They're entitled. And most of them will speak loudly about how they think they're above God. They know. They're choosing. They chose spiritually and they're choosing every day. Make no mistake about it. I think I'm done. I love you. I hope you can feel the love energy. I want so much love on this planet. They have to all wear shades. You know what I mean? You can go so bright in your own energy, but not when your power's down. When that happens, there's no room. They have to just evolve, right? It doesn't take much. When you withdraw, literally, they lose their power. More and more will lose their power, and we just shine more brilliant, beautiful things. But we can't create beautiful things when we're being drained, and we're not here to make excuses for evil. They know every time they hurt you. I'm sorry it's hurting my heart to tell you. This. It makes me want to cry. But I need to tell you because it's the fucking truth. It's like when I said I had, I made so many excuses saying that they love me. Even this discard, I said my dad loved me because he couldn't help abusing me. So it, I, 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 I put it in the context of love because that's how much love I have. That's probably how much love you have. But they don't have that in them. And they're not to be made, they're to be made accountable for it. They see what they do. They see what they do to their kids. They see what they do to other people. They see what they do to animals. Have you had that? They see what they do. They know what they do. It's not just an entity running them. They still make a choice. They like what they do. They think it makes them better than you. They think your empathy is a weakness. They think your kindness is a curse. They are completely distorted. Do not think for a minute they don't know what they're doing while they're watching, literally taking your life, whether it's just draining your energy or putting you in a chronic state of poverty, a chronic state of sickness, a chronic state of anything. You've got no love to give there because you're drained. You can't do the most. Your love on this planet is the like, gosh, <laughs> it's such a powerful force. The, the, oh, the energy is the strongest energy we've got. Don't have it sucked out of you. Use it in different ways. Like I said in the love video, pour it on things that can transform. Pour it on people who are suffering that aren't narcissists, right? But these guys are not suffering. They think they're better than you. They think they're better than you. They think they get off on it. They get off on your pain. They get off on your betrayal. They get, they hate it when you completely transform because they are powerful when you are stripped. The more they've taken from you, the better they feel. Don't make any mistake about this. All right, my loves, I love you. Any questions, keep commenting. I love you for supporting my channel. I will respond to everything um, in some way. Um, if you're asking me lots of questions, I'm going to do more on things about the body. The reason, like, I'm going to go into the body and the PTSD, and that PTSD video I did on here is very good. What I'm saying is, we have to, we've got to come into our bodies to feel and process, but that's a staged approach because you have to build strength in your body to be able to, sorry, capacity in the body, get regulated first. So it's, most of us are too in our heads. It's not safe to be in our bodies and feel. And then, you build capacity so you can process emotions and then we make time for processing emotions in our every day that's kind of what i do with people but you just go step by step but please <laughs> make no mistake that, that i made this excuse for so many years and they're not sitting in regret they're actually sitting in power i've had my i've had my family trying to get me to make commit suicide and i was a sweet little girl like I'm, honestly and if they it's not human. There's no regret. In fact, you'll never be able to mention some of the most horrific things again that they did, right? It's in the past, according to them. In the past, where you're in PTSD, where your whole life is being broken apart. They know exactly what they're doing. I've been around so many of them now, and I've worked with so many people. There is no doubt. Do not get caught gaslit in the psychology stuff of, it's a personality disorder, they've got no control. They still make a choice. They're not in a big blackout with an entity running through them. They spiritually chose the dark. They know for a fact. They sit there and laugh in religion. You know, some of them are spiritualists. They're in religious organisations. They are. Uh, they think they're above God. And what's God? Whatever it is to you, right? Let's not get into uh, all religions are welcome here. To me, God is love. God is good. God is good. They're against good. Don't make any mistakes about it. I love you. Any comments, let me know. Um, and I'll speak to you soon.